Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue saying that the file directory is corrupted or unreadable and your hard drive is unable to open. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to show you guys a quick hopeful workaround for this problem. So we're going to jump right into it. And the first thing we want to do is identify which hard drive or hard disk we're experiencing this problem with. So I'd recommend heading over and left clicking on the start button to open up the start menu. And you want to type in this PC. And the best match that comes up should say this PC directly above desktop app. So you want to left click on it one time to open it up. So now underneath devices and drivers, there should be different drive letters listed here. Now most people will have the local disk as their C drive, but if you're experiencing problems on an external flash drive or hard drive, you can also resolve their issues using this method as well. You just want to take note of what is in parentheses here. So it happens to be the C drive with a colon after. That's very important. That's the one we're going to be running the scan on today. And that's the one that we also happen to have the issues with that Windows is installed on. So I'm going to close out of this window. And now I'm going to right click on the start button. And I'm going to left click on the option that says command prompt and in parentheses admin from this list. And if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. So now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in chk dsk space forward slash f space. And now you want to type in the drive letter you're experiencing this problem with. In our case, it happens to be the C drive. And then I'm going to do a little colon symbol at the end of it. So I just want to be very clear about what we're typing in here. We're going to have check disk, so chk dsk space forward slash f space. And then you're going to have the letter C or whatever your drive that you want to run the scan on is. And then you want to do a little colon at the end. So you're going to hit enter. So depending on if your drive that you're scanning is going to be currently in use or not, we can see that it is currently in use because that's the one that our Windows installation is on. If you had an external drive, like another local disk, like an E or an F or a G drive, you'd be able to scan it without having to log out and restart your computer because we can see that it says check disk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? You would type Y and then you would let this utility run and scan it, it would diagnose it and create a log file after it. And it's pretty straightforward, the tool is pretty automated. It can take a couple hours to run so you should be patient and it all depends on how large the disk is. And it should be a little bit easier if you have an external drive because then you actually don't have to restart your computer. And you can use your computer while it's running the scan of the drive. However, if you're doing a scan of the disk that the Windows installation is based off of, you will have to restart your computer and likely you're not going to really be able to use your computer in the meanwhile. But if it's in the name of restoring and hopefully fixing your computer, I believe it's worth the wait. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.